Welcome to another Front Range Friday where we explore the neighborhoods of Colorado. Today we are in the Lakewood City and specifically the Applewood neighborhood. There's three distinct pieces to Applewood and we'll show that on the map and then we'll get right to it. Our starting point today was the Blue Star Park with a beautiful view of the Rockies, especially during sunset. We're on a pretty high bluff here that leads into Golden. You can see over to my right, there is South Table Mountain and North Table Mountain, which are both in Golden. Applewood was settled around the 1880s when it became apparent that farming was just as lucrative, if not more lucrative, than gold. Ooh, fun turn. So when you look at the name, Applewood, you think apple trees. And that is true. There is apple trees, pear trees, and a couple other variations that were grown all around here. Lakewood also spans into Wheat Ridge, which we toured in a previous video. And as that name implies, wheat growing was in that area. Well, Applewood also was known to have wheat growing. Right now we're in the general Lakewood area, which is a census designated area. Teller's Tap Room and Kitchen is a popular place. Brunch and drinks, highly recommend. However, there's a lot of more generic chains here as well. Applewood is known to be more about the residential neighborhoods all together and then some of the shopping and restaurants kind of isolated by themselves. This is a more upscale area because of its proximity to both Denver and Golden and the mountains. So a lot of families that are raised here are well off and have nice homes all throughout the region. Over here is a very nice area. You have a reservoir to the right and you have a park to the left. Chester Portsmouth Park as the sign there says. We'll first take a quick peek at the reservoir. Rather large, there are some homes on it. We're a little bit low lying though, so behind me you can't see much of the mountains anymore. A quick cross of the street and we are in the park. This is still in Lakewood, however we're very close to Wheat Ridge. Very nice walking park. Some activity right now, it's getting a little bit late, so picks up more during the day, I'm sure. Have a playground, very family-oriented feel. Couple park benches and couples sitting at it. Nice way to escape, has a public bathroom. It's always nice to see that. Another fun turn here. Nice and clean roads here too, so you don't have to worry about any dirt or gravel disrupting your turn. Some nice main roads all throughout the residential part. We're more in the heart of Applewood here. Some of the nice homes. See people out enjoying themselves. Very community oriented feel, which is really nice. Good greenery, just like everything else in this part of Colorado. You can see good lawns, pretty large, nice homes all abound. More modest in some areas here. Single story, but you do have some second story here. We're coming up to a much smaller park. This is Taft Park, more of a walking area. It does have a walking bridge there, and then it's more narrow and long. There's just a tiny strip that runs here. It's your sign, Taft Park. Still in Lakewood. 
does have a little playground, so another family-oriented place to hang out. Some beautiful large trees there. When you look at the feature set of the Lakewood part of Applewood, it really is just this residential feel throughout. Some of those restaurants, as you saw, and some of those minor parks. However, it's mostly these beautiful homes to raise a family in. As we come up to the major route here, 32nd, this one runs all the way to Golden and also runs all the way into Highland Square. Very popular neighborhoods with a lot going on. So it's really nice you have easy access here. What's also great is you have easy access to I-70 and Route US-58. So if you want to get somewhere, you're in the right place for that. You can see these more cul-de-sac looking areas that shoot off. It's not as grid layout, it's more of these twisties. Not too active right now. It is a nice time to go out, walk your dog, tend your lawn. Yeah, really nice family friendly homes. Haven't seen much construction, a little bit of housework there. I'm really enjoying the feel that I have in here. The deeper I go, too, you see these homes are still really nice. Like this one looks pretty new. More modern. That one's got some nice brick clay. Got yeah, a little kitty scooting across. Probably here's the bike. Another beautiful home. Yeah, you could explore this. So far, pretty friendly. Also pretty diverse. The older folks and the more modest folks. Like, look at this. That is immaculate. Speaking of some of these homes, we're going to try to go to the most expensive I could find that is for sale. I will see you there. Thank you for waiting. Typically don't ride this late just due to the increased risk of not being seen. And it's fun to rip around these little turns. You can see this one too, right? Nothing crazy. This turn I took very early in my riding career, very slowly. I remember it clearly because there was somebody who waved to me and I was trying to wave back in the turn and I was like, man, I gotta get a little bit more comfortable with that. So obviously I've grown that comfort in the past six months of riding. So we're on the road that has a $2.5 million house and my guess is there's some very nice homes here that aren't for sale, such as that. Look at that thing. Oof. Well, beautiful. Now you got the money over here, you got the views. Look at that. It's beaut. Take a quick peek at that. That's the two point five million dollar home. It's got the scene behind it. Very modern. Even got the little features here with the sign. Got bunnies, beautiful trees. And that is what we wanted to see, so very cool. If anybody's interested in spending $2.5 million, I have found the home for you. So with that said, there's really no way to top the most expensive house at the highest peak in the Lakewood part of Applewood. So we're gonna end it here. Appreciate you joining me on another ride. A little bit darker this time. We'll continue to sleuth out the rest of Colorado, one neighborhood and one town and city at a time. Take care and I'll see you next time.